So let's now use our combined knowledge to create a object of students and then loop through that object of students and print them out in a string interpolation. So starting to combine some skill sets here. So we can have students equals, not equals, sorry, students object like this. And then underneath that we'll say Tim is 12. So the key is the name, the value is the age. We don't need a comma there, that's for JavaScript. So Tim is 12, Jim is 11, Pam is 10, Tom is 9, and Fred is 8, like that. And then what we're going to do is we will come down here and we're going to loop through these. Before we loop through it, let me do a syntax change. So students is the object name, so we need to do this. And we'll say, why can't I get there? There we go. Students equals. And then this is our key value pairs. So students is what we're assigning this object to. So my fault uh, should be an equals instead of a colon there. And then down here, we're going to loop through that students object. And we're going to create a string interpolation and print that out. So we're going to say all, we'll say students list. Uh, students list, it's not really a list. So let me just say all students equals for name and <clears throat> age. Name is the key, age is the value, and students of students, not in students. For name, age of students, we want to return the string interpolation. The student name is age years old, like that. And then we should end up with a thing of all students, a list, and it, it should print out. So let's go ahead and say console.log all students. And we should have a list of these strings, I think is what's going to come out here. So this will return a list here, and we print that. And I don't need these parentheses. I'm going back to my JavaScript habits. No need, no need. So let's just add a space there, save it, run it. Oops, clear it first. And then run it boom and we get a list of these strings so that's perfect so we had an object and we want to loop through that object and create a list of these strings based on the key value pairs within that object we store it in all students and then we log all students so here we can see student Tim is 12 years old there student Jim here is 11 years old etc the whole way down the line